old Jaffa city. That's Tel Aviv. We are heading to Jaffa Ports, one of the oldest ports in the world. Tel Aviv Mediterranean Sea Old Jaffa City Hi good people How are you? It's Veronica Today we are in Jaffa or Yafo or Yafa in Arabic. Arabic name for Jaffa for Jaffa is Yafa. And this is one of the oldest cities. And today we are here for a boat ride at the oldest at Jaffa port that is this is one of the oldest ports in the world. In fact, it's mentioned in the Old Testament. Jaffa is mentioned four times in the Old Testament. And in the New Testament, it's also mentioned in connection with, in connection with Saint Peter. Saint Peter was here in Jaffa and when he raised Dorcas or Tabitha, Jaffa is mentioned four times in the Hebrew Bible as the north most Philistine city by the coast bordering the territory of the tribe of Dan that is in Joshua chapter 19 verse 46 it's also mentioned as port of entry for the cedars of Lebanon for Solomon's temple that is mentioned in second chronicles chapter 2 verse 16 it's also mentioned in the book of jonah chapter 1 as a place where prophet jonah embarked for tarshish instead of going to nineveh as god had commanded him then he was swallowed by a whale and he was vomited back to java port so today we are sailing we are going to take a boat ride at the famous old testament java port Yafo. It's Jaffa. It's also called Yafo. Today's name is Yafo. Or Jaffo. Yafo in Hebrew and Yafa in Arabic. It's a diverse city, home for Christians, Jews, and Muslims. You know the ports, the Jaffa ports continue to be important through 
history and served as the main entry point to the land of Israel through until the late 19th century when Jews from around the world began to return to Israel. It was through Jaffa that they entered the country and this is where and this is where many initiates settled at Jaffa. Yes, Jaffa City. Oh Jaffa. Now we are heading to Jaffa Port. It's one of the oldest ports in the world. So we're gonna view Jaffa City and Tel Aviv City and Tel Aviv City from the sea. <laughs> and by the way, now today is as I take this video, it uh, is uh, on holiday. It, uh, uh, it's uh, it's on holiday light now. A holiday of Shavuot. And what is Shavuot? Shavuot is a Jewish religious holiday that is celebrated seven weeks after Passover. That is 49 days after Passover. So on the 50th day after Passover is Shavuot. The holiday celebrates the giving of Torah on Mount Sinai. And it's also a grain harvest for the summer. And in the Jewish, it's a Jewish culture that they dress up in white and eat dairy products. So, see, they wear white. <laughs> so, happy Shavuot to all the Jews as they celebrate their Shavuot holiday. Old Jaffa City. Jaffa Port. But when I was Wow, that one has left me. <laughs> oh my goodness. To take a boat ride with this one. Oh. 
Yes, but let's see. Wow, the other one has left. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yo. Ah, there's another one here waiting. Where will I pay? Where am I supposed to pay? Yes. How much? 30 shekels. 30 shekels.
Chase of a day. Aksamea is to say happy holiday. It's a, a holiday of Shavuot. When the Jews celebrate the time that they received, they received the Torah at Mount Sinai. So guys, it was beautiful <laughs> being with you, taking a boat ride at the old Jaffa port. Thank you so much. And I'll see you again in a few days' time. Love you so much. Thank you for deciding to watch my video. I'm so much honored and humbled. Thank you. Jaffa Pots. Thank you so much.